uh, so this is a two section one with tutorial one on uh, how to use Zoom for competition. So I think um, it's better to get started. Uh, right away. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. so I think uh, if you have seen it previously, so uh, it's Zinit. Zinit, Zin, sorry. Zinit.com. So, what makes Zinit and uh, Carlo? Different from each other is the fact that Zindi is more focused on Africa. So, if you have seen it, uh, it's taking a bit much more time. I don't know why. Oh, you think it's in it? Don't. Yeah, so it's Zindi.Africa. So this is more uh, focused on Africans and African data and just trying to teach Africans on data sets. So if, after you have signed up, you can see you have um, competitions, jobs, job postings. You, you can actually um, apply here. Uh, you can learn just as uh, it is in cargo. You can learn actually. I have learned uh, when I was get, getting started with data science. I learned much, uh, like almost eighty percent of uh, the algorithms from Kaggle. So it has a, a good uh, curriculum. So, check it. if you want, you can check it out. <clears throat> but yeah, you have uh, it's not as organized organized as Kaggle, uh, but it's uh, more versatile and it covers much more uh, topics here than and you have a community where you can just discuss you can create a new discussion or just uh, continue you have notebooks the only drawback uh, that you may have uh, that you may see here is uh, the fact that uh, it doesn't allow you to access or doesn't allow you to see um, notebooks of others. So uh, we'll see that in a moment. But yeah, so let's go to the competition. So as I have said, uh, we have this is more focused on Africans and African countries data. Unfortunately, some of the data uh, are not we are not able to access. For instance, uh, you can see here, you have seen, like, you, you can see accepting uh, helping Kenya. So this is uh, more focused on Kenyan data. But okay, th this one actually helps you compete. But some of the uh, competitions doesn't allow you to compete if you're not from that country. Uh, okay, this one's actually, yeah. Does, but I have seen a couple of uh, data sets that I would not allow you, especially the financial data sets, do not allow you to just uh, like participate. So we have uh, active, uh, active challenge here, uh, especially the 5G challenge for ETP. I think you have here. Uh, you, you can re enroll him and do uh, the challenge. But, uh, okay, uh, let me just try to find the challenge. Okay, I believe it was in this tree. Yeah, so it's insurance recommendation, right? From Zindi, what you are expected to do. So, if you come here, uh, the first thing that you need to do is just go through the information of, about the. Uh, it's 
this is actually uh, called Zimbabwe, and it's past due for almost four years. And it has price, so you can compete. Like it's past for, for this one, but you can compete with other for other uh, competition and get the reward. But here you have the description, everything you need to know, um, the rules that uh, you don't need to to be uh, like this is more focused on uh, for the challenge. If you are participating the challenge and you are trying to win the challenge. But since it's due, you can just go over that one. And uh, so here is what they expect you to do for the submissions, for, for winning, and the rules that are the data set will in the package and how you're going to submit so you everything that you can find it here. So, uh, so you're, not, uh, you're not expected to submit your code to Zindi for. Uh, for them to evaluate until uh, you have actually they will contact you if you have uh, been in the top 10 or in the top 20 and you will submit your code there but in the meantime if uh, you're not in the top 10 or 20 you're not uh, expected to uh, submit your chart your uh, codes or your networks but just to submit your uh submissions so uh, you have seen like uh it, it should be um, they should be able to reproduce with code and get the same result and so on you can go through this but as i said this is for uh, the competition so what you need to be uh much more focused on is on this one the evaluation so the descriptions and then the values for me. Uh, so the first thing I do is go to the descriptions and try to find out what the data and what the business need is all about. And then the evaluations, I want to see how uh, I'm expected or what type of data I'm expected to present or to science in it. So if you can see, we have ID, it's this uh, P code and the label. So the label is either one or two. It's a prediction, so uh, yes or no. So, uh, so between uh, you must submit a prediction between zero and one, or likely that the test arrive as that code has. So, so you must not want your predictions to zeros and one. So, uh, zero point eight should not be rounded to one, and zero point zero one should not be rounded to zero. You, you must submit as it is, but this is not the case for everything. So I think the, the uh, on my mind, uh, like we have seen, I, I believe you have seen the from the cargo, uh, the Titanic prediction. If you guys remember, do you guys remember? I'm all the world, yeah. Okay, so if you guys remember, uh, that challenge, uh, we have actually, uh, you are expected to actually round up the numbers in order to get a proper science submission because they only accept zeros and in ones. So you either survive or you don't survive. So there is no in between. But here, since they want to be in between, you can uh, you don't need to round it up. And then the timeline, so since you're not going to be from the beginning, it's not uh, as important. To you guys. And then the second thing you should do is go to the data and read about what the data is all about, what they have given you. So normally in Zindi, they give you four uh, data sets. The first one is the sample submission, just to show you how you are expected to submit the frame and the test uh, Asset and the variable definition. So the variable definitions is just there to define the features or the columns what they are for. So here you can actually download them uh, and work with it. So uh, so unfortunately, like um, 
what I was trying to suggest to you guys earlier was that uh, unlike uh, cargo, you're not able to view uh, like here on the leaderboard on car cargo, you might see you might you are able to see the notebooks of the winners or the notebooks of those who scored higher, right? But here in Zimbi, you're not able to do that. So you can uh, you you cannot view how they did it and how they were able to perform uh, high results. But you can see they have some of the fight a bit of wild or twenty five cents submission by seventeen or ten inches are not like ordinary, but yeah. So you can submit more than one. Um so for this challenge I believe you were expected to submit at least three and show your progress uh, as you do. So yeah. Uh, here it's for team but since you're not gonna be work working as a team it's not uh, that much necessary. Here I haven't submitted yet, but if you have submitted, it will show you maybe submitted, submitted, the file, your score, the comments. Without any comments, but you are able for this challenge, you are able to submit up to set sandwiches per day. But you, you just drag and drop it here. Um, I'm still working on this one, we just test it, but yeah. Here you can see your scores and so on. So uh, it, there is not much more uh, to talk about this one, but if you guys have any questions or anything that you want to talk about, that was worse. But yeah, uh, one thing I want to add uh, before we go is uh, I know that uh, I know that. Zindi uh, will not uh, show you the like the ports of uh, the participants, so you cannot uh, like go through them and find out the algorithm they use and so on. But there is a way around it, right? So uh, what I would do is just copy the name of the challenge and then uh, write it and just uh, add GitHub. So. Here you, you can see uh, some of the submissions that are available. But of course, uh, oh, sorry, uh, I have missed, missed that Zingi. So here you can see uh, yeah, so, so the uh, I believe, I think it's better if I just copy the whole name, right? Okay. Yeah, so here you, you can see some of the persons that have sent committed. So here is not a good uh, presentation, but yeah, so. Here are the tools and the libraries that we used, and there's submissions and so on. So you can actually go through this one uh, and find the best one that you have, uh, that you can find, and just try to use it as your uh, benchmark or something. So if you, even if you cannot find uh, the uh, directly from the site from the from the cd site you can just try to do it this way and find the one that you like so here you can see you can see yeah okay i did not know uh, yeah, price three. So it's, so it's, yeah, I believe they did uh, had it before my apartment. So, yeah, anyways. Uh, so, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, just try to go through it and find uh, the best one 
especially uh, like I have gone through it earlier and I couldn't find uh, any with uh, stars with good time count. So that's not that's why I'm not recommending you any uh, specific GitHubs. Uh, but if you found if you find the GitHub repo with like, more, more than let's say three stars, maybe just try to go to that one. Anyways, yeah, uh, that's it for me. So yeah, try to find one with uh, good revenue and good uh, commits. Don't think this is a good one, but yeah. So is that clear, guys? Okay, yeah, try to get it. What I want is okay, okay, okay. So everyone is uh, happy with it. So any questions, guys? Before we end the session, have you guys started uh, use uh, any of the challenge or the competitions? No, okay. Uh, what I want to see one. It's been a long time. Okay. The absolute which challenge have you started? The sales prediction. Oh, good, good. Yeah, try, try. That's good. Um, okay. Uh, any questions before I end the session? Or if not, uh, if not, can you give, give me some thumbs up and you can end the session? Uh, okay, so I'm going to take that as a yes. So it's 